What's going on? What's going on? I'm Kenya Crooks, the world's greatest weight loss expert. And I'm tired, y'all. <laughs> I'm tired. I just finished doing a four mile run and it's hot and I'm just sweating like Keith, but I'm good. But I just wanted to drop in on you. But before we get started, if you're trying to be food for free with the K to the C and you're trying to shut down some stuff, I mean, you trying to just crush it every time you step into an event uh every time you go off on a trip make sure you get my super stomach shredder membership i'm gonna post a link in the uh description section and in the comment section and also too don't forget to like this beautiful broadcast don't forget to share it don't forget to comment in the bottom and most importantly make sure you subscribe ring the bell so you can see y'all okay i don't want you to miss anything now let's talk relationships because you know one of the things that i take pride in is getting my bricks married. So what I do is I get them so fine that they become so attractive that they don't have to chase anymore. So they can just pick and choose who they want because they've improved their stock. They look absolutely amazing. And again, when you can level up your look, you can level up your life in every form, in every area of your life, including relationships. Now, the thing I wanted to talk to you about and your challenge today is this. Act like you want a relationship because I'm trying to get you on single. For my singles ministry, I'm trying to get you on single. But there's some things that you do that get in the way of that relationship. When I was out in the world dating, one of the things I would listen for was her story. What was her story? And that always determined if I was going to holler back at her. Okay, I'm listening for her story. We're out and I'm like, so how many kids you got? Oh, I got one. So now I'm listening for your story. Okay, are you going to blame him? Are you still hung up on that? Uh, if, if you were divorced, if you just recently got divorced. Okay, so what happened? I'm listening. Whose fault was it? Oh, okay, it's never your fault. Uh, oh, okay. So you never take responsibility for anything. But if she were to say, you know what? It, it wasn't him. It wasn't me. We, we just kind of floated. A, we just kind of, you know, we, we kind of floated apart. We just kind of floated apart. Nobody did anything. Nothing really happened. I can't blame, blame him. I hope he can't blame me. Well, we just kind of, we just kind of fell apart. It's just, you know, we went our own separate ways. See, I, when, again, when I was single, I was listening for that. And, it, and and there's guys out there like me who listen for stuff like that. And again, the second part of that piece is, did you get over it or are you still hung up on that? We're, we're, we're watching that. Because again, we're listening for your story. We're seeing who's being blamed. But we're also looking to see, are you still hung up on it? If you're still hung up on something, he going to smell it, ladies. He's going to smell it because after you hit a certain age, you, you know to, you know to sniff around for it. Because again, that's a major red flag. Because again, if she ain't over it, then she's not ready to move forward. Okay. So, and, and it kind of leads me to the last part. Okay. For my people who got kids, for my people who are divorced, or even if you've been married and you have uh, kids with somebody, okay? Before you step out, before you step out into the world, make sure your stuff is clean. I'm talking about your situation, okay? Make sure your situation is clean because if your situation is messy, it becomes attractive. I know a lot of attractive people who keep up mess, whose situations are still messy. And when you have over 4 billion people on the planet, you got to look at yourself and be like, you know, I'm cute and stuff and I got it going on, but you know, there's still 4 billion people on the planet that this person can talk to. I'm not the only one. So again, you got to make your situation clean. If, if, if your relationship with baby daddy ain't right, you going to have issues with new dude. Okay. Cause again, I know a lot of people who will just mess up your relationship because just because I know a lot of y'all who watching this right now, 
got baby daddies and got ex-husbands who purposely tried to mess up your relate who purposely tried to mess up your relationship both uh currently and in the past so clean that up but again that's not on on your ex to clean up that's on you to clean up you got to start setting boundaries and again making your situation that much more attractive because again it makes no sense for me to make you attractive physically but your situation is just straight up ugly okay so let's get you one single if you agree if you agree to change your story if you agree to take responsibility for everything, if you agree to clean up your mess, say, I got you coach in the comments. And if you've ever had a situation to where either your ex or uh, your baby daddy has tried to sabotage you in the past, talk about it in the comment section below. I'd be interested to read all of that because I know a lot of your situations. Cause again, a lot of people who follow me, we're friends in real life, real life, for real, for real. And I know your situation, so I can't wait to read. So love y'all again. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to this channel. Love y'all. I'm gone.